More on Vaticano begins now. The Year of Mercy is well underway and has already attracted hundreds of thousands of pilgrims to Rome. The idea of coming to Rome on pilgrimage is as old as the Holy Years themselves, actually even older. The American priest, Father Jeff Kirby, who is currently studying in Rome, explains to us the history of pilgrimages in Christianity. In the history of Christendom, there were three major locations for pilgrimages. Of course, Jerusalem, because of the holy places associated with our Lord's life. There was the shrine of St. James the Apostle in Santiago de Compostela in northern Spain. And of course, here in Rome, the burial place of the Apostle Peter, buried in St. Peter's Basilica. And so when the pilgrims would come here to Rome, they would often come from different areas. And as soon as the first one saw the city of Rome, he would yell out, Echo Roma, Echo Roma, you know, behold Rome, behold Rome, the holy city. And they would enter and they would go through what's called the Via Carinari. And Carinari is an old word, it means uh, rosary makers. They would pass through that way and slowly make their way to this last leg, to this bridge of the, of the angels, the holy angels. And they would cross over the bridge. The Angel's Bridge represented the final piece of the path before crossing the Tiber River and getting to St. Peter's Square. Therefore, it became a part of the spiritual journey. And when they rebuilt it in the process, Bernini later had this idea of, let's not just have a bridge, let's make this a type of spiritual stations of the cross. So now when the pilgrims enter the bridge, they are immediately greeted by Peter and Paul, who are the patron saints of Rome. And Peter and Paul, the inscription in Latin reads basically, this is the way of the humble, be careful you who are proud. So a little bit of exhortation. But as the pilgrims walk through the bridge, they'll see 10 angels. Each of the angels are holding some aspect or item associated with our Lord's passion. So the spear, the nails, the sign above his head and so on. And the idea is that as the pilgrims come in, they're being greeted by these angels. And again, this kind of spiritual stations of the cross. Now, as they would cross the bridge, early on, before 1929, they would have to literally go through this maze in order to get to St. Peter's Square. Now, of course, there's the Via Conciliazione, that main road that just right to the center. So we pass the bridge, and then we enter into St. Peter's Square. Father Kirby also explains the particularity of today's pilgrim in Rome in this Holy Year of Mercy. Now, what's interesting is during this Jubilee year, pilgrims are still walking. Pilgrimages are about walking. And obviously it's not what it used to be. We're not walking from ancient cities into, the Rome, into Rome, through the Via Carinari and so on. We're doing it 21st century style. And that's basically groups show up and they arrive at a mercy station, which is right down the Via Conciliazione, very close to this bridge. And they still are making a walk. And it, it's about a mile or so. And they're walking into the Basilica uh, on this way of mercy and then into the Basilica to the Holy Door. Going through the Holy Door represents a kind of end to the journey of pilgrimage, but the spiritual pilgrimage continues. So this Jubilee year is a time of pilgrimage. It should be for each of us. And during this time of pilgrimage, we can also realize that as we journey in faith, God is journeying with us. In fact, it's so powerful to think, as Pope Francis constantly reminds us, that the journey, we make this journey because God's journeying with us. Before we look for Him, God's already looking for us. And we remind ourselves during that, and we remind ourselves of that truth during this year of mercy, during this time of pilgrimage. Father Jeff himself recently published a book called Doors of Mercy, which highlights God's invitation to go to Him. So the book, Doors of Mercy, Journey Through Salvation History, is about the journey that God makes with us, His constant attempt to show us His mercy, his invitation that he always gives to us to draw closer to him. So it's about mercy, about faith. It's about God's desire to be with us and have fellowship with us. For those who cannot make it to Rome, there are holy doors set up in all the dioceses of the world, also in hospitals, prisons, train stations, and more.